When it comes to affordable smartphones available in the US, Blue is sure to stand out with a large collection of devices. Blue's most recent addition to their lineup is the Life 8 XL, a $130 unlocked smartphone with an upcoming upgrade to Android 5.0 Lollipop. This is Bailey Stein with Android Authority, and this is my full review of the Blue Life 8 XL. The Life 8 XL's design is incredibly similar to that of its older brother, the Life 8. As you may have guessed, the XL tag indicates a slightly larger form factor with a 5.5 inch display. In addition to the larger size, the 8 XL also opts for on-screen buttons rather than capacitive keys. It is available in 5 flashy colors and is one of the thinner options available at 7.7mm. The 8 megapixel camera does protrude from the back, however, which may be something you dislike considering that it does make the phone wobble a bit when you set it on a flat surface. The matte plastic rear cover does feel nice to the touch, and I was happy to find that Blue retained its removability despite having it wrap around the chin of the device. Speaking of the chin, it's pretty large, especially when you consider that we're dealing with on-screen buttons. Taking off the back cover, you can access dual micro SIM slots, a micro SD card slot which supports up to 64GB, and the 2920mAh battery. The full metal band isn't all that convincing, and there are noticeable parting lines on both the top left and top right corners of the band. The power and volume buttons, which are on the right side of the device, are fairly clicky, but they do rattle if you shake the device. There is an orange notification LED at the top left of the phone, however it isn't really bright enough to see unless you're in a poorly lit environment. There's also a 2 megapixel front facing camera. As mentioned just a minute ago, this phone does have a larger form factor than the Life 8. Instead of packing a 5 inch display, the Life 8 XL features a 5.5 inch 720p display, which of course makes the device much larger. The screen itself isn't the worst I've seen, but it's certainly not the best either. While it does get plenty bright, sunlight readability is still poor and viewing angles could be better. The resolution does make for a pretty low pixel density of 267 ppi, and it's difficult to advocate that resolution for a display this large. Blue does include a pre-installed screen protector as well as a replacement in the box, which may be helpful considering that the device does not have Gorilla Glass. The Life 8 XL does include MediaTek's MT6592 octa-core processor clocked at 1.2 GHz along with 1 GB of RAM. Day-to-day -day performance was good, but not excellent. The processor is outdated, having been released in late 2013, and the 1 GB of RAM can be a problem when trying to run more than a few apps at once. For the average user though, the one that checks Facebook and plays Candy Crush, the Life 8 XL is a great performer. With the Mali 450 MP GPU, the Life 8 XL does handle higher end games quite well for the price. Even with settings set to high, the Life 8 XL did not drop frames as easily as a few other budget devices that I've tested. In addition to support for GPS 802.11n Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 4.0, the 8 XL also supports GSM networks. It fully supports AT&T's HSPA Plus network, while partially supporting T-Mobile's HSPA Plus network. I was impressed by the rear speaker volume, which was actually loud enough to hear in a driving car. It is pretty tinty, however, and it is easily blocked on a flat surface. Sound escapes, walking on a straight line through the, the 8 megapixel rear camera took some okay looking images. You really aren't going to find anything much better in this price range, unfortunately so don't expect to get any quality shots from this phone. I did notice that it had some issues focusing on closer objects and the overall quality just isn't very good. The user interface for the camera app is pretty simple, but you do still have control over things like white balance and ISO. With a 2920mAh removable battery, low resolution display, and power sipping processor, the Life 8 XL provides excellent battery life. I was able to get in just over 4 hours of screen on time, starting from about 7am and ending at about 1am the next morning. It should get virtually all users through a full day of use, and some may even be able to get it last into the next day a bit. Out of the box, the Life 8 XL runs stock Android 4.4.2 KitKat. With the exception of a few pre-installed apps, most of which can be uninstalled, the 8 XL's ROM is completely stock. 
that's pretty refreshing coming from other devices. Blue has promised to deliver an Android 5.0 Lollipop update in late July, so hopefully we'll see that soon. Blue is releasing the Life 8XL on June 22nd with 8GB of internal storage for $129 on Amazon. To make that deal a little sweeter, Blue is offering $50 off for the first week, making the phone $79. This pricing is only valid for the first week though, so be sure to act fast if you want to get your hands on this device. To conclude, the Blue Life 8XL is a good option for those on a tight budget. With flashy color options, stock Android 5.0 Lollipop, and excellent battery life, the Blue Life 8XL is a good value for $79. However, it does use an outdated processor, has a mediocre camera at best, and lacks 4G LTE support. Personally, it's hard for me to imagine someone choosing this phone for $129 when you can buy slightly more expensive options like the Moto G 2nd generation or Asus Zenfone 2. They are $50 to $70 more, but if you consider the cost of cell phone service, ranging anywhere from $30 to $80 per month, that isn't so much of a reach. So is it worth it? If it suits your needs at $79, then yes, it's probably worth it. At $129, however, I think it would be better for most users to pay a little more upfront to get a lot more phone in the end. Thank you for watching this video and please make sure to give it a thumbs up below if you found it helpful or informative. Also, please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more content and feel free to leave a comment below. Finally, be sure to visit the Android Authority website for additional coverage, as we are your source for all things Android.